two years ago, my family packed up our bags and we moved across the country to buy this beautiful, historic 1800s fixer upper. And while it has so much charm and so much character, it still needed a lot of work. We've put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, quite literally, into this home over the last two years. And today I thought it would be fun to take a look back on our journey and share all of the before and afters. This transformation not only makes me emotional, but it makes me so grateful to see just how far we've come. It definitely has not always been easy. There have been moments of frustration. We lived without a kitchen for about five months. That was fun. <laughs> And we really had to learn patience and learn that good things just take time and you have to put in the work. But we have seen our home transform not only from the inside, but outside as well. And now we can truly say we're very proud of our home and how far we've come in two short years. So today we're going to take a little walk down memory lane and look at all of the before and afters. I hope you guys have fun with this one so we can see how far we've come together. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, you guys, let's start outside really quick. I feel like you can't get a full appreciation for this home makeover without seeing the exterior. We moved into this home on a snowy, gloomy January day. And over the course of the last two years, we have brought this house back to life with a little paint, with a lot of landscaping, and now it just feels like it has the charm that it deserves. This is a beautiful historic home, and it's been so much fun renovating it and giving it just the love that it needs. Um, we love our front porch area. It's so sweet and quaint. We love to sit out here in the warmer months and it's just been a lot of fun. So that's the outside of our home. Let's go ahead and dive into the inside. Before we go any farther, I kindly wanted to thank Green Chef for sponsoring today's video. If you don't know, Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic meal kit company that helps you cook clean, delicious dinners week after week with step-by-step -step recipes and pre-measured premium ingredients that save you time. They're changing the meal kit subscription game with options for every lifestyle, including keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean, and even gluten-free. I was making the spicy Southwest turkey stuffed peppers today. They were so delicious. Now their meals contain a variety of organic ingredients and I have found every box I've ever gotten. There has not been a single recipe I haven't enjoyed. They are always so delicious. This week I ended up doing a keto box because my husband and I love to get Green Chef meal delivery kits for lunches. We both work from home, so having a fast, easy lunch option that we know is healthy really works well for us. One thing I really love about Green Chef is that it introduces you to new ingredients and flavorful dishes that support a healthy lifestyle. I'm always trying new things. I feel like I'm getting out of my rut when it comes to recipes and it makes for more time for your other goals in the new year with convenient, wholesome meals. They offer doorstep delivery, which allows you to skip the grocery store while pre-portioned ingredients and pre-made sauces make cooking a snap on busy weeknights, or in my case, weekdays. If you're interested in checking out Green Chef, be sure to use my code AMYFRITZ60 to get 60% off plus free shipping. Go to greenchef.com for more details. And thanks again, Green Chef, for sponsoring today's video. So before we even purchased this home back in late 2020, we knew that this kitchen and dining space was a project we planned on tackling. 
This kitchen had so much potential. I loved sort of the square cozy fit and layout. I didn't want to change that. I also really loved the large kitchen window um, where the sink is, but desperately needed new cabinets. And we really wanted to take out this wall between the kitchen and dining just to bring more natural light into the dining and create a more open concept feel. Um, primarily because I wanted some kind of bar top peninsula island where my kids could sit at and do their homework or have a snack or have a bowl of cereal in the morning and not have to sit at the dining table. So this was the pr first project to undergo. We closed on the house and started to demo. It was a mess. We lived without a kitchen for quite a while. Um, you know, we had to wash our dishes in the bathroom sink. <laughs> that was fun, but the result was so worth it. I learned a lot renovating this kitchen. Um, I wouldn't say that I have regrets necessarily, but definitely lessons learned. Um, but this space turned out so beautiful. We went with an all white classic kitchen and a beadboard backsplash. I felt like it was just a little bit more in character with the home. Our home was built in the late 1800s. Um, we also decided to go with this vintage high back sink that is so beautiful and adds so much charm to this kitchen space. We truly love it. It feels like such a blessing every time I get to cook a meal or um, decorate this space for a new season. It has been so much fun to have a space that really feels like a reflection of us. So right off of our kitchen is this little mudroom space that is awesome. Our home is on the smaller side and with it being historic, I feel like this addition of the mudroom comes in handy more often than not. And we actually more recently tackled this space. Kayla just added some shiplap that I painted extra white by Sharon Williams. And we painted the space alabaster. Most of our main living is alabaster. And we haven't done the flooring yet. It's not totally done done, but just having this pretty space with that little window, the natural light peeping in, and just having hooks for the kids to be able to hang backpacks, um, or their coats in the winter time has been a huge blessing, just kind of that landing spot before you come inside uh, off of the garage. And off of our bedroom is the laundry room. I squealed when I saw this room when we looked at the house, you guys, and that may sound silly, but when you look at historic homes, most of the time they don't have their own laundry room. Laundry is usually in the basement or tucked away somewhere. So I was very excited to not only have its own designated space, but it has a window and it's right off the kitchen. I really wanted to paint this room a peaceful color. So I went with the color Comfort Gray by Sharon Williams. Caleb added some vertical shiplap for me with a peg rail just for decorative purposes and for storage. I hang baskets on there all the time. And we were able to add some cabinetry and a butcher block top for folding, which is really nice. But overall, I feel like this project, if any, goes to show you a little bit of paint and some decorative elements go a long way. You don't have to have a huge budget to make a space beautiful. I was able to add some flowers, lots of wicker baskets for storage and for laundry, um, pretty paintings. I really wanted this space to feel like a sanctuary for me because I spend so much time in here. I wanted it to feel simple, but put together and well thought out. And I feel like this space really achieves that. We love it. We feel super grateful for it. And again, even just having that little window, some natural light when you're folding in the morning time just does wonders. <laughs> I was also able to find that vintage ironing board that I really love. Just fun touches, fun decorative elements that speak to the space. And overall, we just feel really blessed to have this laundry room. Okay, now moving out of the kitchen, let's talk about the dining room. 
This is the before. This is shortly after we moved in. Do you guys remember those cabinets? Definitely a more controversial decision, but still no regrets here. We are very happy with taking those out. But this dining room, again, just needed a lot of love. We had to re-drywall the ceiling. The It was such a mess between the plaster and wallpaper and drywall. We didn't know what was what. So we ended up ripping it all out and just shiplapping this entire space. And it really brightened up the room. It looks so, so much better now. It's crazy to see these before shots. Obviously you guys know that wall is gone. Here's a little clip before we had all the flooring in, after we had shiplap, but we hadn't done the ceiling yet. So we lived like this for months and months and <laughs> months, you guys, but it was so worth it. Here's some more before photos that I have from the real estate listing. That was after Caleb took everything out. And here is the after. We love this happy little dining space. It's our only eating space in the house, so we really wanted it to be casual, cozy, warm, inviting. It's where we eat every meal. It's where we gather, we play games. It's such a fun space. I love how we were able to incorporate our pine dining table with the pine floors. Of course, you guys know I love my big vintage hutch that I can put my ironstone in. And really, it's just a reflection of us. And I was able to salvage that cabinet door you see on the wall hanging there for a little piece of character and a piece of this home's history. We just really love this space. So this is our family room. It's what you see when you walk through our front door. And when we first moved in, it felt very small and very dark, sort of like a breezeway. And I knew with a little bit of paint and knocking out those cabinets, we could create a big cozy family room where we can fit all of our furniture. It can be a cozy movie room space. We have our TV hidden in that armoire that I thrifted for like 50 bucks. Um, I love that it's hidden. I love that it's not the central focal point of our main living. And you can see lots of other thrifted furniture. I've got some vintage dressers as side tables. Um, yeah, we just really love this space and love how it's come together. It's changed many times over the last two years, but I feel like we finally um, have the right layout and configuration. Okay, so at the bottom of our stairs, we have this hall tree, and then there's a door that leads to the fourth bedroom, the only bedroom on the main living that we converted into a home office. And if you guys remember when we first moved in, this was the very first DIY project that Caleb and I tackled in the house. I wanted to start here because we, um, it wasn't, a room that we needed <laughs> per se. It was okay to close the door and just forget about it for a day or two and just get to it when we could. Um, since we had just moved in, there was just a lot going on, but we had so much fun with this space. We added a plank ceiling. We skim coated the walls, which was such a process. I will never do that again. <laughs> um, but the after is so worth it to be able to have just this beautiful space to come and work and be able to work from home. And I just love it. There's a lot of vintage feminine details. You can see the ornate brass mirror and the light fixture and the vintage frame um, gallery wall. We ended up doing a board and batten and chiplap accent wall. I love that and all of my furniture is thrifted from Facebook Marketplace. We were also able to just incorporate lots of florals. I wanted a lot of life in this space. I wanted it to just be a happy place. Um, we were able to add an electric fireplace to the mantle and that gives off such cozy ambiance, especially during the winter months. They're long here in Ohio. And again, I feel like a, I sound like a broken record, but we just really love this space and are really happy with how it turned out.
So this is our formal parlor right off of the family room and the office area. And this is such a pretty room. I love the huge pocket door. This thing is so heavy. Even I have a hard time opening and closing it. It's very heavy. Um, but you can see in this space when we first moved in, it um, served as our TV sort of family room and our current family room was a formal sitting. And we more recently switched that. This room just makes for such a pretty formal sitting space. That was its original intent as a parlor and the after is just so pretty. We added a board and batten accent wall and lots of paint. We hung high drop cloth curtains that add a lot of drama to this space. And we ended up putting our piano in this room. So it's like a pretty sort of sunroom, if you will. We have windows on all three sides of the room, which is really nice. Um, and we were able to put a small desk in here as well so the kids can come in here and work on homework if they need some quiet but overall it's just a cozy formal sitting space that I love to come in and drink my morning coffee or read a good book it's definitely a cozy spot in the house if you've ever lived in an older home you may notice that the primary bedroom is basically the same size as the other bedrooms and in our case our closet is teeny tiny so it has been a challenge sort of fun to try to come up with ways to make this room feel bigger and to get creative with organizing i actually have a fun video coming out next about tips on that um, but for today, I just wanted to share sort of the before and after of the appearance of the room. And you can see here just how dark and dreary all the different shades of gray were in this space. So started with a clean slate. I painted the entire room alabaster, just like the main living, and it completely brightened up this space. It's amazing. This room gets so much natural light. It's so pretty, you guys, in the morning. Oh, the birds chirping, it's my favorite. I also had Caleb add a little board and batten accent wall just as a focal point for a place for our bed. We ended up putting our bed against the window um, because the window layouts in an old home are also just kind of wonky, but we put a lot of hard work into this room and the transformation is just incredible. So you can see we played a lot with height and symmetry. I did floor to ceiling curtains for a dramatic tall feel. We did matching side tables and matching wall sconces. I love the wall sconces because they're a big space saver. And the iron bed lets all of that natural light through the window. It's just a very airy, peaceful space in the house. I think I can say this since we've looked at all the rooms today, the bedroom is my favorite. It's my favorite room in the house. If I just need a moment, I come up here and just take a deep breath and it's just so serene. Um, we kept it very simple with our surface clutter, just minimal decor, pretty fresh floral arrangements. And our striped duvet is from Pottery Barn Teen. I get that question a lot. Um, I'll link it down below for you guys. I love the cozy little nook with all the vintage books and just the natural elements. So pretty. Um, this space makes me really happy. <laughs> well friends, those are all of the spaces I wanted to share with you today. It's been a fun two years of making this house a home. We're still on the journey. We're nowhere near finished. But thank you so much for coming along with me today. I really appreciate it. If you're new here, consider subscribing down below. And I will see you guys really soon in the next one. Bye.